Hey you! What up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Mariam here and as you can tell, today's video is in time for Halloween. Today I'm doing the Wednesday Addams Halloween makeup look of this soft grunge glam, aka goth glam, for the character Wednesday, played by Jenna Ortega on Netflix. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. I'm gonna show you how to achieve this look. It's actually a very, very simple look. You don't need to go out and get a whole set of new makeup and new products. You can basically just grab whatever it is that you already own and just slap it onto your face with me. Super, super simple, kind of like a easy, DIY type of costume. So I hope you guys are here for it. I hope you are excited as much as I am. I personally am a huge fan of easy Halloween makeup looks and this one I really like. I feel like I might even wear it out past Halloween if you know what I mean. So with that said, let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Notification bell for those Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into it. Wednesday Halloween makeup tutorial coming at you. Okay, so as you can see, my costume is already halfway done. I have this collar, I have a black dress, I have my janky little braids that I put some extensions into my hair and braided it to this, but you know what? It's hanging on by a thread. I kind of wish I would have just bought a wig. It would have been so much simpler, but I don't know why I decided to make it difficult for myself. If you have long hair and if it is able to be braided into two braids and if your hair is already dark, then guess what? You're halfway done. Your costume is almost done. All you need is this soft glam goth makeup to finish it off and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so let's start with primer. I'm gonna basically be using products that I know work for me. So I'm reaching for my Danessa Meyer Exploring Balm Powder because my skin is very oily. I have very little bit left. And if you've been following me for a while, you know why that is. And if you're new to my channel, then you should know that this is my favorite primer, especially for those of us with oily skin. This, for some reason, makes my makeup last a lot longer. And not for some reason, for a very good reason, actually. The upslide ingredient that is in this product. But anyway, this video is not about that, is it? I really want to have fun. I want to get into the Halloween spirit. And all the costumes I want to do this year are fairly simple. They're kind of like on the DIY side, meaning you don't need to go out and buy anything extra. You can just use the stuff that you already have at home. The only thing I did actually buy for this costume is this collar because I, for the life of me, did not have anything like this. All of my tops and dresses were either black or white. So in order for me to have that Wednesday-esque pop, I needed that collar. So this I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below along with like other products that you could potentially buy if you want to, if you don't want to DIY your costume. But anyway, enough about the costume. The face is primed. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to groom my brows very, very quickly. I'm just going to use, I don't know, oh, how about this? The Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. I don't want to make my eyebrows too trendy. And because Wednesday has bangs and so do I, mine are clipped back for the moment. I feel like eyebrows are not really necessary since they'll be sort of covered up anyway. Just making sure that my brows are groomed nice and easy and then i'm gonna move on to foundation so for foundation now would be a good time to take out one of those foundations that's a shade or two too light for your skin tone i actually don't have such a foundation on hand currently but i do have this graftobian palette which you can mix any shade of foundation so i'm just gonna mix up a couple of different shades specifically i'm gonna take a little bit of green and i'm gonna mix that into my typical color because i do want my complexion to be a little bit grayer not bronze not warm, just like my skin tone, but a pinch paler and a pinch grayer. I hope that makes sense. I think this is good. So this particular palette is a professional palette and the foundations are actually on the fuller side. So because this is Halloween makeup, I feel like I can get away with it. But if you want to look a little bit more natural, because after all, Wednesday Adams is still a teenager. She's not wearing full coverage foundation. If you want to look a little bit more natural, just go for a regular foundation that's just a pinch too light for you and that'll do the job. And if you want to add just like a little bit of green in there, feel free to do so. So now notice that I'm applying this everywhere, but I'm avoiding the under eye area. I actually will not be using concealer to hide my under eye dark circles. We're going to let them thrive today. Today they are a part of the costume. I'm not going to conceal them. I'm not going to cover them up. And in fact, I might actually make them even darker. Now I also want to make sure that I cover up any of my redness, any natural blushing or flushing or any acne. I want there to be no sign of life in this complexion. I feel like uh, it's coming together. All right, same thing with the forehead. If you have a summer tan and you might want to use a fuller coverage foundation like I am, just to make sure you're getting rid of that warmth 
and that bronziness out of your skin because the bronziness for sure is not a part of this character's characteristics. <laughs> All right, much better. Never mind my neck. I would put makeup on my neck and make it a little bit more pale as well, but I honestly don't want to get makeup on this collar, so I'm just going to leave it at that. You don't have to. You can commit, but that's just what I'm going to do. Just covering up any bumps, imperfections. Is that really a cat hair? Okay, great. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna contour. Again, I'm gonna take kind of like a lighter contour shade and again, I'm gonna mix it in with that green using the same palette. I just want this contour shade to be extra, extra, extra grayed out. Just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks or like right underneath my cheekbones. You could also hollow out this part of your face, but I feel like with me and with my features, it'll make me look a little bit older. And I still want to exude that like younger spirit of Wednesday. So I'm going to skip that part. But if you have a rounder face, by all means, feel free to experiment. Using the same brush. Also for the jawline, I'm just adding that little bit of shadow for that soft goth glam. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my entire face. So for that, I'm first gonna use my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I'm gonna use this on the center of the face with a little puff. And I'm even gonna set my under eye. Even though there's nothing on my under eye, there's no makeup, I'm still gonna use this powder to get rid of any shine or any oils that might be there. And this way, the complexion appears seamless. Now, I don't know why it's actually taking me so long to put together a Wednesday Halloween makeup tutorial. I've never actually been Wednesday for Halloween. And I think it's the perfect look. Not just for me, but for anyone, especially those of us who are a little bit on the lazy side. This is such an easy look and such an easy costume that you can DIY by shopping in your own closet. And for me this year, it is perfect because although I wanna be in the Halloween spirit, I am also traveling abroad all the way to Turkey. So as much as I would love to go all out with my Halloween looks, this year I'm all about the DIY, simple, put it together, but still look better than everyone type of a costume. All right, so now that I've set the center of my face, I'm gonna reach for my Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation. This one's a little bit on the yellow side, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use that to set the rest of my face to make everything super, super matte like that. If you want to accentuate your contour, like the way that I want to, I'm gonna grab the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, and I'm just gonna brighten this area right underneath the contour to kind of emphasize the hollowness and to reverse contour, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna do the same thing here. One more thing, I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. This one is a perfect gray contour shade, and I use this from time to time, but mostly in October for Halloween looks. So I'm gonna grab this kind of stiff chisel brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow underneath my lip, like that. This shadow is very, very cool, so it's perfect for contouring. It's great for stage makeup, great for contouring the nose in a very believable way. And of course, if you want to add additional hollowness or shadow around the hairline, around the forehead, just for some dimension, you can do that without risking looking bronzed up and sun-kissed. This is strictly a sculpting, contouring type of powder. Ooh, this brush is shedding. Boom. All right, so now I'm officially done with complexion. I feel like that was really, really, really simple. You don't need blush, you don't need bronzer, just a little bit of contouring, strategic placement, and definitely a foundation, a cream foundation, something that is a little bit lighter and a little bit more gray than your natural skin tone. Okay, next. So for the actual makeup, I'm gonna show you the picture that I am inspired by. I'm gonna pop it up. And basically, as you can see, she has kind of like a very simple, smudged out, smoky eye, a simple but slightly vampy lip. There's a little bit of freckles showing. There's definitely some mascara on the lashes. And so I'm going for something in between those two looks that you could easily wear with whatever outfit you want to go for for this costume. Whether you want to do the schoolgirl Wednesday or just the chill Wednesday, or if you want to do the party Wednesday, this look will work for all three of those looks. And by the way, I'm also actually filming an IG Reels of three Wednesday looks. So definitely go ahead and check that out on my IG. I'm going to try to post it today as well. And all of these costumes will be DIY, nothing that I actually bought outside of this collar. <laughs> All right, so now let's move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I am gonna prime my lids. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty primer, just a little bit of that. So I went ahead and did some research to find out what Jenna Ortega, the actress who plays Wednesday, actually wears in the show in terms of makeup. 
A lot of it was MAC makeup and just some liners. So if you have those, you can use them. I'm just gonna go ahead and use these uh, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils, the Whatever Black and the Endless Cacao. Basically, a cooler brown and a black. So these two are gonna be my smudgy pencils. And then for my shadows, I'm gonna reach for the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Defining Neutrals Palette, just to smoke that out. But honestly, you could use anything you have. If you have a smudgy brown liner, a smudgy black liner, and maybe perhaps something that's a little bit more waterproof, go ahead and grab those. So now I'm gonna pull up her photo one more time. And with my brown pencil, I'm gonna start adding liner to the top and to the bottom lash line. Basically, I'm outlining my entire eye shape. I'm not winging it out, keeping it very soft and very smudgy. I'm just darkening my eye shape and I'm keeping it somewhat rounded like that. I'm gonna keep a little precision blender brush handy or you could do this with a finger, honestly, either one works. And as I'm going along, I'm also going to be smudging it so that it doesn't look like harsh lines or edges. I just want it to be super soft, but glam and grungy. And I definitely want to emphasize my dark circles here. So this is perfect. This is where you make those dark circles work for you. So I'm almost sort of blending that pencil into my dark circles. I'm kind of like following that natural pattern like that. Rounding out the eye a little bit over here, bringing it slightly higher. Next, I'm gonna grab the black. Again, I'm using the Makeup Forever Whatever Black. Applying that very close to the lash line. Not really winging anything out. Of course, my camera cut off as I was smudging the liner, so I had to keep going just so that it doesn't set. Although these pencils are pretty soft and they have a really good play time, but still, I definitely don't want to look like I have a winged out, precise type of makeup application. I still want it to look very smudgy, very easy and effortless. So I'm just using the black to add a little bit more shadow and shade, and I'm helping with my finger and also with my brush. Whatever's remaining on the brush, you can use to continue outlining the lower lash line, smoking it out and smudging it, just like that. So what we're going for here is a very basic, easy, grungy, smoky eye. It actually looks really, really good. And again, if you want to emphasize your dark circles, just continue smudging with whatever's left on your brush. You don't want to actually add pencil there because then it'll look a little bit too harsh. Just whatever's remaining on your brush, just keep pulling it down and around. Oh, not me pulling a cat hair out of my eye. Oh. Okay, I feel like this one's looking really good. This one is a little bit too pulled out and we don't want pulled out, we want rounded. I'm so used to doing the pulled out smoky eye because I have the Asian almond eye shape. It's really hard for me to do anything else just because I always intuitively want to follow my natural eye shape, but not today. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, I feel like I almost don't need to do too much more, but just to make sure that this is all set and not moving anywhere, I am gonna set it with powder. So I'm gonna reach into this shade here called Stone from the Danessa Myricks palette. I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush, reaching into the powder stone as opposed to the pomade, and I'm applying that all over the lid, just to diffuse and then to also set everything in place. That's it. So now I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Glide Pencil in the shade Extreme Black. I'm gonna just line very, very closely to my lashes just to make this look appear a little bit more purposeful. Again, I'm not winging anything out. I'm just following my natural eye shape, making it a little bit thicker at the outer corner, but I am adding that line just so it looks like makeup, you know, and not just tired, dead eyes. I noticed in the pictures of Jenna, she also has a very thin line of black liner. And it's not a liquid liner, it's just a pencil liner, just to kind of define the shape and make it more purposeful, like I said. Okay, look is almost done. I'm gonna perfect my brows real quick with the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. You don't need to do this. I'm just doing this so that it doesn't look too disheveled. Just extending that tail end. Notice I got a little bit of powder on that brow gel. So it's looking a bit white and creepy. I'm just gonna brush that out. And that's it. All right, so now for lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna curl my lower lashes as well. And the reason why I'm curling my lower lashes is because I am gonna apply mascara to both my top and bottom lashes. 
And whenever I do a smoky eye, I also like to apply mascara to my lower lashes. That's really the only time I do that lately. So I'm going to use this Clinique mascara that I've been liking lately. You could use any mascara that you have, preferably a waterproof version or something that's not smudgy. I like this mascara because it is very clean and because I still want to look like Wednesday the teenager, I'm not going to go too glam with the lashes. I'm just going to apply a couple of coats, kind of want to make it look messy and a little bit caterpillary, not too perfect. And then to the bottom as well. All right, eyes and skin are done and it looks so freaking good and so softly goth in the most understated way. I actually would totally wear this even with the dark under eye and all. I think it looks quite good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the lips. And this is kind of an important step because I went ahead and picked up the exact pencil that was used on the actress in the show Wednesday. I'm talking about the MAC lip pencil in the shade Night Moth. I already have my lips lined with this nude pencil, but I always do this because it kind of helps me to line my lips quickly on camera, especially if I'm using a dark lip liner. So if you notice, in the photo, her lips are definitely lined and they are filled in all the way, but they're not super, super precise. So I'm gonna kind of follow that same method. I'm going to lightly line the lips, just like that. I'm gonna flip the pencil to its side. I'm just gonna gently smudge that in. This Night Moth pencil is very, very old. I've had it for many years and it feels a little bit more crumbly than it should, which is fine, because it's still gonna get the job done. I'm also gonna split my lip by drawing a split on my lip. And then I'm gonna take that same old brush and I'm literally gonna smudge everything within the lip shape. Okay, just like that. And then for the ultimate understated goth pout, I'm just gonna add a lip balm, this one from Bobbi Brown. Anyone will do and kind of melt that concoction into each other. I'm gonna go over the edge once more with my finger. One more thing I'm gonna do for this makeup is blot off that little bit of shine. And notice how the lip line is like kind of precise, but not really. That's the goal here. So just keep playing with it, keep smudging it until you get it perfect. And this to me is, I guess, my version of perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna release the bangs. I'm gonna fix this hair. I'm gonna come back with the final look. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, and here is the final look. Wednesday Adams from the show Wednesday on Netflix. All right, so I did the best that I could with my bangs, given the fact that I have curtain bangs and not actual bangs, bangs. But like I said, if I wanted to make this look a little bit more perfect, then I would probably get a wig and it'd probably be a lot easier, but a little bit more costly. So that's totally up to you with what you wanna do. I just wanted to show you this soft goth slash grunge makeup look that's perfect for the character Wednesday for this upcoming Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, for tuning in and for subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, I'm out, more videos over here, deuces!